Alberta Beef Producers is the organization that speaks and works on behalf of close to 20,000 cattle producers in Alberta, covering all sectors of the industry from cow-calf through to cattle feeders. The cow-calf industry in Alberta has changed dramatically. At the beginnings, we attribute the beginnings of the industry here to 1874, shortly after the Northwest Mounted Police came here. Our cow-calf operations are, have grown. We have a number of them still on, on big ranches in southern Alberta, but through the rest of the province, a lot of mixed farms have cow-calf operations based on some of the marginal land on which it's not suitable for cropping, so they use grass there. Certainly what we're seeing producers doing most recently is being more active in their management of, of their grass and their grazing, which has benefits both in terms of efficiency of, of producing grazing cattle on them, but also creates benefits in terms of the grass is managed better, so that reduces erosion, it reduces runoff, it helps to the grass in its capacity of, of filtering water and, and holding water in the soil. So that kind of management has improved a lot. Certainly watering systems have changed significantly. We're seeing fewer and fewer operations where cattle are drinking water directly from a stream or a dugout or some other surface water supply. Producers are making much more use of watering systems where they're taking the water from the source, putting it into a, a, a watering system, into a, a water bowl or, or water trough, and keeping the animals away from directly away from the surface water. With respect to improvements in management of land and management of water, that creates tremendous benefits for water quality, specifically with respect to the amount of phosphorus going into water. We're seeing producers do grazing in the winter, and they're managing those um, areas where they're raising animals in the winter to ensure that they're not getting runoff from the areas into, into streams and that the, the vegetation around those areas stays in good condition so it does act in, and as a filter and, and help to protect the waterways. Areas such as the Bow River where we're looking at managing phosphorus, the, the producers in, the, in that watershed through their management of their grass, their management of their riparian areas, the watering systems they use that, that tend to keep cattle out of being directly in the water. All of those things help to enhance the water quality and, and protect the water from the um, potential um, nutrients such as phosphorus entering it. Uh, I run a farm with my, my family, my father and my brother. Uh, we run a, a larger feedlot, a cow-calf operation and a crop operation. Uh, we've been in the area, my great-grandfather settled here in the 1930s and we've kind of evolved and, and we're some of the generation that still remains. Things have evolved so that um, there are now regulations that actually control what, when and how we handle manure, what we do with it, and it's primarily around water quality. Although there are nuisance aspects and other aspects, a big focus of the regulation, the Alberta or Agricultural Operations Act, is focused on protecting water. So we've become more and more regulated and are continuing to become more regulated. We are uh, required to make sure that the water that comes, comes to the farm and touches manure is contained and dealt with, and we use it as fertilizer basically. Um, water outside of that is actually rerouted around the operation. Manure spreading again is, is dealt with as if it is a fertilizer and there are regulations on when you can apply it. You can't apply it on frozen ground without special permission. You can, you know, there has to be a nutrient balance. You have to watch for neighbors, you have to watch for wells, you have to watch for water course. As the regulations developed and I was involved, I think that they came out in a, in a pretty nice spot where they balance what is pragmatic and possible and allows operations to operate uh, combined with what protects the environment.